WMAR 2 News, Maryland's most accurate forecast. Well, temperatures have been above average for the last couple of days, and that's not going to change. Uh, matter of fact, we're going to go higher than they've been the last few days, into the mid-50s tomorrow, <coughs> and then into the 60s as we head into your Friday and Saturday, where Saturday we peak at about 66 degrees, and then a big drop-off in the numbers as a cold front slides through our area. Still have to deal with this cloudy and rainy mess of a situation, although those rain showers will become more isolated as we get closer to the 8 o'clock hour. And then once we get closer to noon, most of that energy has already dissipated. We're still going to have some lingering sprinkles. The cloud cover, unfortunately, going to be with us for the remainder of your Thursday, and eventually we'll start to see some of those clouds breaking a little bit as we head into your Friday morning. But all in all, it's going to be a bit of a gloomy day. The drive to work, numbers in the upper 40s through the 8 o'clock hour, and then those rain chances diminishing after noon. So I think it's going to be a good day to step out of the office for lunch. Just remember that it's going to be a bit dreary out. No rain in the forecast tomorrow evening. That's going to mean an easy drive to the gym where temperatures are going to be hovering near 50 degrees for a large chunk of our evening. And then as we turn the page into Friday, we're going to see two things work in our favor. Number one, the clouds are going to eventually start to break as we head into the afternoon. <coughs> Number two, we're going to start to see southerly flow take hold, and that's going to allow for some unseasonably warm air to be a part of our forecast. So we'll start off the day in the mid to upper 40s, climbing into the 50s through lunchtime, and that's about where we spend most of the day with daytime highs for your Friday, climaxing near 61 degrees. And then as we push ahead towards Saturday, lots of folks looking to make New Year's Eve plans. I do have us dry at midnight, but the closer we get to 2 a.m., some of those spotty showers are going to start trickling into the area with that rain increasing through the early morning hours. And then we're going to see that front stall and kind of meander a little bit. As it lifts northward, it's going to take the rain with us. So I think we're going to have some dry times. just going to remain gloomy for the second half of your Saturday before that front starts to sink further south. And that's going to be a cold front, bringing you more rain chances for your Sunday. Notice the drop off in the temperatures. We go from 61 Sunday afternoon to 26 overnight, only rebounding into the lower 40s for your Monday high, upper 40s for Tuesday, and then back into the lower 50s by next Wednesday.